Life as We Know It with Tom Walton. Being a dad is just about the coolest job in the world. They tell me that being a mom is pretty sweet as well, and though I've only observed motherhood as a bystander, I'm sure that's true. But yesterday was Father's Day, and as always, my kids made it special. Let me say first, as an aside here, I'm thinking about taking up yoga. Hey, it beats just sitting around. Yeah, that was a bad dad joke. A groaner, my son would say. It's what we dads do. I've got a lot more of them, but let's move on. I've been a dad for decades, and although I continue to get old, fatherhood never does. I am blessed with two wonderful children who lead blissfully hectic lives with families of their own. When your kids become loving parents themselves, not just providers, but a mom or a dad, it's a source of lasting pride for a grandfather. Yesterday was my 53rd Father's Day as a dad, and as they always do, my daughter and my son called to remind me of their love, as if I needed reminding. I also talked to my grandchildren. Many years ago, when my children married and began having kids, our first grandchild, Kelly, decided at age two that my wife and I needed new names. I became Papa. My wife became Boppy. Over the years, all of our grandchildren followed Kelly's lead and called us Bapa and Boppy. Not once have I been called Grandpa or Gramps, and although those are perfectly wonderful titles, I love the one I've got. Being a dad requires cultivating the ability to say no, sometimes firmly, but always with love. I recall the great line by the late Tim Russert, The older I get, the smarter my father seems to get. Saying no, by the way, is a talent that evaporates when a dad becomes a grandfather. Go ask your mom was a stock answer when my kids wanted something, but now that I'm dealing with grandchildren, I say yes a lot. I've spoiled them, and they have spoiled me. As my daughter and son move closer to the day they become grandparents themselves, I cling to the memories that I tape recorded in my brain so many years ago. Like the night my daughter was born. She was a couple of weeks late, and my wife's labor was extremely difficult. But we both rejoiced when we finally had our baby. I had become a father, and it felt wonderful. Like the first time my daughter was fitted for braces and headgear. She wasn't crazy about it, but she got perfect teeth out of the deal. Like the day my daughter ran the anchor leg for her high school track team in California and had to buck strong headwinds off the ocean, but still overtook her competitors. Like the time my son cradled his new niece Kelly in his arms for the first time and lovingly announced, I gotta get me one of these. He ended up getting four of those. He dotes on them all because he is their father and their protector. As a dad, Justin's a natural. If you are a father, I hope you too got phone calls yesterday. I also hope that you shared a bad dad joke or two. Here's one you can jot down for the next time you talk to them. I ate a kid's meal at Burger King today. It really upset his mother. Yeah, I can hear your groans already. Life as We Know It is written and hosted by Tom Walton and is a production of WGTE Public Media. Life as We Know It with Tom Walton can be heard on WGTE FM 91 every Monday afternoon during All Things Considered at 5.44 p.m. Or hear past episodes at wgte.org slash life.